Let's build your shopping cart page to reduce cart abandonment. Timestamps below, along with some other helpful links, including a link to grab a copy of our checkout page template, along with a bunch of our other sales funnel templates as well. We'll be using systemi.io to build out your shopping cart, although this conversion principle and design will work with any software you wind up using. Now, when it comes to your checkout pages, we only have one job. Don't screw up the sale, right? Someone's seen a sales email, they've seen a sales letter, they're coming from a some sort of source and they just need to enter their credit card information and move on to hopefully an upsell process. That's it. We don't want any fancy designs. We don't want to introduce anything new. We are just trying not to screw up here. And to do that, we'll be using the STAR framework. It's silly, but hey, I was trying to come up with an acronym for this. So we need secure seals, we need trusting testimonials, we need all access, and we need risk removal. So we'll go through each one of these elements on and how to include them on your own checkout page. And if you want to skip ahead to building inside of systemi.io, here's the timestamp to do that. Now, first up we have security, which is the most important part of this entire process. If you do nothing else, just make sure your page looks secure. Someone's coming to this page, they have their credit card in hand, hopefully, and they're looking around the page and saying, am I about to get scammed? Am I about to get a bunch of spam emails, right? So number one, we just wanna say, hey, your information's secure, so we're not going to share your information, we're not going to sell your information, you can literally just say that. And then you also want to have some sort of icon or if you can have a third party that's verified that whatever this checkout page is encrypted. Now, if you're using Stripe, you're pretty much guaranteed to be encrypted. Um, so you can also make some icons inside of Canva, like you can see here where we just have a thumbs up and some stars, a guarantee. And then of course, if you don't have a guarantee, don't include that obviously. And then of course, a icon to show that the page is actually, or their, the payment processing is actually encrypted. Now, something else that will help a lot is having credit card logos. For whatever reason, people like seeing their credit card logo on the page. <laughs> so go ahead and include those. Systemi.io also includes several by default, but in the page template linked up in the description, we just created a quick graphic in Canva that has several as well, including PayPal, but of course only include PayPal if you actually take PayPal. Now, the second element is going to be T for trust testimonials. So we need to, of course, to build trust. Now, if you don't have testimonials, that's okay. Most of us don't. But if you do, go ahead and include short text testimonials here. I see some sales pages where they have video testimonials. Personally, from a, as a conversion standpoint, I think that distracts from someone actually completing the form. We just want them to quickly glance over there, get that little sense of trust and like, okay, other people have, other people, someone over here has said that it, this works. So I'm gonna trust it as opposed to watching like a 10 minute uh, te testimonial instead of completing the checkout. If you have testimonials that you used in your emails, in your ads or in your, on your sales page, it's okay to repeat them here. It's, it's totally okay. You don't have to have new testimonials. And so that's all you need to do with building additional trust here. Now, next, you're going to want to make it clear exactly what someone's getting access to. So if you offered bonuses in your sales letter, include a list of those bonuses here. If it's just a one implementation program or it's one product or service, just include a summary of what they're about to get here and include whatever image you use to represent your offer. Use that image again here. Again, we don't want anything new. We don't want any surprises. Nothing should be a surprise on this page. We're just restating whatever your sales emails or your sales letter has already communicated to them. So that's all there is to all access. Just make it clear you're getting exactly what you think you're getting here. <laughs> and then finally, we want to remove the risk. So if you have the ability to offer a 14 day you know, free trial or any sort of money back guarantee, go ahead and do that. Now, a quick side note, if you're doing anything with digital products, just put a 30 day money back guarantee because if someone wants to call up their credit card company and do a chargeback, Credit card companies almost never take the side of digital products. So if you're selling a course, you're selling some sort of template and someone calls up their credit card company and says, I want my 10 or $15 back and you try and spend literally days fighting with the credit card company over a couple hundred bucks, it, number one, it's not worth your time. And number two, most of the time you'll still lose the case anyway. So you might as well just give the guarantee, increase your conversions 
and they're bad actors everywhere. They're, to- they're someone who's going to ask for a refund or issue a chargeback. D- doesn't matter what your guarantee is, they're gonna do it anyway. So you might as well just include a guarantee. And if chargebacks, you're like, what the heck is that? That's just when a customer of yours calls up the credit card company and says, you scam them. And because you're selling products online, they'll just trust, they'll, they'll just go with uh, the customer and not necessarily you. It doesn't matter how many screenshots of your sales page that you, you send, okay? So I'll, I'll, get off, I'll get off that soapbox. Let's jump into systemi.io and actually start building out your checkout page. So I'm inside of our funnel template here on the checkout page. Let's go ahead and click edit. I probably spent way too much time on that. I'm sorry, it's just, it is just such a headache going through those chargeback things. So I, I want to avoid, I want you to avoid that. Now, when it comes to the page building, it's relatively the same as all your other pages. The main difference here being, if we come down to payment, you'll see there are a bunch of payment icons here. And so these are all the payment elements for checkout pages. So you have to select the checkout page template when you're creating your page for the first time in order to see all of these. So I'm using a two-step form here. This pretty much looks like it's straight out of ClickFunnels and that's totally okay because ClickFunnels has proved that this two-step checkout is really, really powerful. So I'm glad they have it. And then to edit the second part, you click on the checkout page element here and we'll click on step number two. I'll go a little slower because I got a little excited there. And then you'll see that these are all of the elements that are included already. There's an order bump. We'll get to that in a moment. So first we'll go ahead and start with our form fields here. So if you want an extra form field, you can just click and drag and go ahead and describe or tell the software what the form field is supposed to be. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Now, when it comes to selling digital products, if you don't need their shipping address, don't ask for it. You, 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 you don't need it. So in this particular instance, we're selling a implementation program. So we'll go ahead and just delete all of these fields that we don't actually need. So we don't need shipping. So we'll just go ahead and delete them. And through the power of editing, we've removed all the fields that we don't need. First name, last name, email, just like your landing pages. The more information you ask for, the lower your conversion rates will ultimately be. And so this is all the information you need here. So we'll go to step number two, and here you need the offer price element and you need the payments method element. So in, if we come down to payment and we go to our, well, not our payment button, but we'll come to payment method, we'll click and drag that in. So this is a standard block that you're going to need in order to collect payments. Here's an example in the preview of what this looks like to the person who's actually checking out. So it'll actually show areas for someone to enter their credit card information. So back over to our page here. I'll go ahead and delete that extra element. Okay. And then you need to also display your offer price. And so you'll set up your pricing in the page settings, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, But for now, just make sure that you have your offer price and you have your payment methods. Finally, we have order bumps. So you'll see over here, we have an order bump. We can just go ahead and click and drag that in anywhere we want. So we'll click and drag that in. And oh, this is something extra that we added. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, but you can keep it there if you're using PayPal. So we'll go ahead and remove that, okay. And it's just an image we made in Canva. And then for your order bump, this is where you can have someone just click click this little, <laughs> click this little box, there we go. They'll click this little box and whatever you're offering will be added to their order. And so the membership access that you set up or the, the shipping information, if you're doing a physical product, because you can do that here, uh, will be set up in your backend settings. So here, if you decide to do an order bump, just go ahead and make sure that you make it clear what the price is on the actual page and triple check that what you put in your pricing settings is the same as what you show here. Um, because credit card companies are not very nice. And uh, the last thing you need is your payment processor suspending you because you messed up on the pricing on, a, on an order bump. So that's all there is to editing this particular part. Now, before we get into the pricing plans, I do recommend having your order bump $30 or less because we want this to be an impulse buy. We've all been to the grocery store and there's candy and magazines everywhere, right? And you you went in for one thing and you're like, oh, maybe I'll just grab this quick Tic Tac or I'll grab this quick Snickers or whatever it might be, right? That's essentially what we're doing here. So <laughs> it's a grocery store checkout line, right? So it needs to be an impulse buy. So I'll go ahead and exit out of here and we'll go ahead and set up our 
pricing settings. So when we come down here, we need to look at pricing plans. So we'll go ahead and click add a pricing plan. You can select from a plan you've already made, or you can go ahead and create a new one. So let's say I want to set up a subscription. So we'll go ahead and click on subscription here, and I'll click on create new, give our subscription a name, and then also give it the plan a name and a statement descriptor. So I'll start from the bottom, statement descriptor. This is what shows up on someone's credit card statement. So be as incredibly plain and boring and descriptive as possible. So if you're selling a digital product or course, just say whatever the product, whatever the topic is in course, that's it. You definitely don't wanna be fancy or salesy at all here. Now, when it comes to the pricing plan, this is going to show up on the page. So just normally you just name this whatever the product is and call it good, or you could be a little sneaky and say discount. So just insinuate that it's a discount, of course spell discount right, right? <laughs> Gee whiz. And then of course, go ahead and give it a internal descriptive name. And for the type, you can be a one shot here and we just say whatever the, uh, the cost is, or we could create a subscription and then we could also add a trial period. So we could say 14 day trial, and then after that it's 27 bucks every month, quarter, week, or year. Now I'm not gonna click, ugh, I'm not gonna click save here because once you, create a, once you create this, you can't actually delete pricing plans. So for whatever reason, I'm sure there's a good one, <laughs> um, you can't delete any pricing plans that you set up. So go ahead and make sure that you set this up correctly the first time. And then if you need to change it in the future, you're just gonna have to make a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here and click on pricing plans again. And this time I'm just going to choose the one that we already have set up. So you see here, there's no way to edit this. So once you create your pricing plan, you're locked in, that's it, right? So we'll go ahead and click on save. And so now when we preview, if we were to go preview the page as a live person, this is the pricing plan that would show up. And of course you can create multiple pricing plans as well if you want to do like a split pay versus just a one-time fee. And then of course, if you had an order bump, you do need to make sure that you add it. So you'll see here, bump price plan. It's telling us, hey, you need to come up with one. So we can go ahead and choose a price plan. Let's say it's a one shot here, and I'm just gonna choose the same one over again, just to save us some time. And then we're all set with our pricing. And if you are going to use systemi.io to deliver your products, then you'd come over here to resources and you'd go through the drop down menu and select what kind of course or tag or product you want people to have access to. And of course you can also drip content as well. So I'll go ahead and remove that because that's not what people should have access to. And once you're done with everything here, make sure to click save. So once you click save, your <laughs> checkout page is complete and ready to go. And now let's quickly talk about your confirmation page. And so we'll go ahead and jump into our template here. Not a whole lot that you want to do here. Just make it really clear how they get whatever it is they just paid for. So you can see here our customized order is complete. Optionally, if you do upsells, this is something I like to do. And then of course, let them know the checkout process is complete. Their order details are below. Um, when you select the proper template, so where we are using the order confirmation template, you'll see here that we have, okay, sorry for the cut, there it is. We have the order summary. So if we click and drag this in here, this is pretty much the only element that you absolutely have to have on the page. And this is where it summarizes their order. So if you wound up creating upsells as well, those will show up here. So we'll go and delete that. Now the key to this page is to, like I said, just make sure that they know where to go to get what they need. Now, if you set up a membership site using systemi.io, then an email will automatically go out to them. So just let them know an email is on the way and then make sure that you, again, tell them what email your, your emails are going to be coming from. That was a really weird way to say that. Put your email address here so they know what email address to look out for to get the information that they need. And of course, if you have any sort of Facebook group or you have a social media channel you want them to check out, you can have a link to that here. Or if you want to try and push them into another sales funnel or another offer, you could go ahead and include that here, or you can just go ahead and delete all of those sections. So typically I don't really use any of those, so I'll just go ahead and delete those, but they're in the template here for you to use. So let's go ahead and delete that. And our 
order page, confirmation page is all good. And with that, we are all set with your checkout page. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. Most importantly, you're a lot more confident with not messing up the sale when it comes to your checkout page design. Make sure you check out the link in the description to grab a copy of this template along with our full funnel template and hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dive guides just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.